Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Clay Ramage. Today, Cindy and I went garage sale hauling, hauling, shopping. <laughs> so we have a garage sale haul today. Um, found some good stuff. I'm excited about some of the things. One of the items really surprised me. It's actually banned, according to the listings on eBay. Banned by who, where, how, I don't know. I haven't done that research yet. Um, but I can understand why, because when I read it, the title of it that's why i was like this is probably wasn't a very popular item um so we'll get to that in a little bit here but yeah so we had a fun time running to some garage sales they started at seven o'clock in the morning which was good for us because we're early morning people so off we go and and uh yeah so let's just get right into it and if you're new to my channel welcome um i'm a reseller on ebay I have a booth at an antique store called the Pink Elephant in downtown Hopkins, Minnesota, and I just started selling on Whatnot. So uh, my eBay store and Whatnot are Clay's Collection, so be sure to check it out. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and the little bell that will notify you when I post new videos, which is twice a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Occasionally there are Thursday posting. Not lately. It's been... <laughs> Pretty busy. I haven't been able to post as much as I would like to. Anyway, so we went to this one yard sale and I picked up this um, piece of art pottery. I just love the metallic finish on it. Isn't that cool? And it's got a glaze on top that has some crackle to it. So it's from 2002. So it's 20 years old. I can't read the signature. But I just loved it. I paid a little more than I normally do. I paid $5. But I can easily get my money back on that. So, wasn't too worried about that one. And then at the same sale, I also picked up this piece of pottery. Which I also fell in love with. It's a beautiful metallic finish with a high glaze. And this one is marked TF on the side. And then it looks like... I would say Freeman, but it's not Freeman, necessarily. They kind of ran out of space at the end. Free, free Mara? I'm not going to try that. For Mara? Anyway, so <clears throat> I couldn't find either signature just with a quick, you know, Google search. But I paid $4 for this one, $5 for the other one. And... And at the same sale, I also picked up this vintage cigar box. This is La Cubano, Cubana Cigar Factory, Yokum Brothers. I haven't looked this up, but this is an older one. And it could be from Cuba. It doesn't really state. This was sold in the state of Pennsylvania. There's the seal on it that they paid the tax. <laughs> so that was cool. What else did I pick up at that sale? Oh, let's see. That was a different sale. That was different. Oh. That was a different sale. Yeah, I think those were the pieces I picked up at that particular sale. Actually, the first sale we went to, I picked up this guy. It's called Zombie Dice. This is for down at the Pink Elephant. Uh, it's a game. Zombie Dice. It's not old, but this kind of stuff is what we sell. Some of this pop culture. Unusual weird horror kind of stuff people are looking for that sorry i'm looking for other things that i may have bought and this one i also bought at the first sale it's these eskimo hugging figurine it's by isabel bloom she's quite popular there's thousands of her items out on ebay so they're popular sculptures so i paid a dollar for that and a dollar for the other game um then we went to another sale. The guy said that he was a um, former antique dealer, that he dealt 20 years in furniture. So um, what he was selling was not furniture, but I did buy these pieces. These are uh, key escutcheon plates. So they're for a keyhole to put an escutcheon plate on. And they're new in the package with the nails. I bought these whole bag for $2. I don't even know how many are in here. 
Uh, looks like about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so I'll list these for like two fifty each. They're super easy to ship, super easy to list, and that's why I like doing these multiple quantity quantity things because they're so easy to deal with, and those are light, don't cost much, unusual. The same sale picked up these vintage cookie cutters. And these are like because they have the handle on them. This is the uh, round cookie cutter or also a donut maker if you had the insert, but there's no insert for this one. Um, then there's the scalloped heart with a green handle. And the lion with the green handle. So I sell those for like $2.50, two to two. Two to three dollars each down at the pink elephant. Do pretty good with those. At that same sale, picked up this is like my favorite item. <laughs> this is a cross stitch tablecloth. Beautifully done. It also has this crocheted open work throughout it. There's an oval in the middle displaying it. It's just beautiful and in excellent condition. I couldn't find any stains, although I haven't, you know, looked really closely, but there's like no big glaring stains. So, okay guys, we stopped this haul video because I'm gonna insert the music to the record that I found as far as my wife is a garage sale collector. So I recorded the whole thing. I'm gonna play it right after I'm done talking here. You guys can listen to it and let me know your thoughts. I, there's sections I think could work well for a theme song. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hilarious. It's kind of polka-ish. And you know what? Here we go. Oh, my wife's a garage sale collector. She's at every rummage sale you'll ever see. She buys the clothes and never stops to check them. She just bags them up and brings them home to me. Now I got suits, a lot of suits to give away. Some are brown, some are black, and some are gray. I've got one, God rest his soul, you'll have to mend the bullet hole. Pick one out, take one home, suit yourself. Now I got shirts, a lot of shirts to give away. Some are brown, some are black, and some are gray. Shows a lack of old right guard. Pick one up, take one home, suit yourself. Oh, my wife's a garage sale collector. She's at every rummage sale you'll ever see. She buys the clothes and never stops to check them. She just bags them up and brings them home to me. Now I've got pants, a lot of pants to give away. Some are brown, some are black, and some are green. Darn things binding in the clutch. Pick one up, take one off, suit yourself. Now I got shoes, a lot of shoes to give away. Some are brown, some are black, and some are green. Got a pair of safety kind, makes me walk like Frankenstein. Pick one out, take one home, shoot yourself. Oh, my wife's a garage sale collector. She's in every rubbish sale you'll ever see. Stops to check them. She just bags them up and brings them home with me. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy that little garage sale song. Uh, yeah, that's quite the beat and quite the lyrics to it. So let me know if you think part of it could be appropriate for our for a theme song to our channel. I don't know. Let me know. Let's get back to the haul. I just thought it was gorgeous. There is some, you know, small areas. Now that I see it in this light. Just tiny, like, pinpoints of discoloration. But no major staining. So, yeah. I fell in love with that. And then his mom was a big, apparently, Tarzan fan. So there were tons of Tarzan books. But I just picked up two. One is The Return of Tarzan. This is a 1915 book. And the other is The Beasts of Tarzan. Also 1916. So, 
I'll probably list these two as a set. I actually paid up for these because I paid two dollars each. Um, and they're not worth that much, but I think what I'll do is I'll put them together, sell them on eBay or at the Pink Elephant for $20. Um, all right, before I get to the most exciting item, the last sale we stopped at, um, she was one of those doing the color coding pricing. So like on this camera, she had an orange sticker, which was a dollar. So I got the camera with the lens, all the accessories, number of them not, never taken out of the package um and flash and a cleaning kit and all the booklets all the paperwork you could imagine there's a huge stack of it <laughs> and, and all of that was a dollar so now she said that the shutter is stuck so the shutter's not functioning I don't know how hard that would be to fix that, but it's something I could look up um, to do. So for, but even for parts, this particular camera has sold for upwards of $35. So I figured with all the accessories, four parts, you know, easily, you know, $25, $30. So for a dollar investment, it's worth it. But I also got this vintage camera case, which I thought was great. It's an excellent condition. Little few signs of wear but nothing major and um so and it was two dollars so i even thought about throwing it in with that whole make a whole camera package might do that we'll see all right so here's the here is the item that surprised me as its value and um yeah capital punishment is the name of the game <laughs> Number one, I was like, why would you make a game of Capital Punishment? But, and it's copyright of 1981. Now, there is writing across the top of it. It was given as a gift in 1985. So, and I didn't look to see if it's all here, but the box was in great shape. It doesn't look like it was really played much at all. Um... Yeah, all the little cards are here. Capital Punishment, 1981 again. I don't know if there's... I was looking to see where the if there were instructions on how to play the game. I'm not finding instructions. So, yep, no instructions. Strategy game for two to four adults. So some of these, if you look at the listing prices, a brand new one sealed, they're listing for $300. Used ones sell for $50 to $100. So for a dollar, because it's orange sticker, I said I'll take the risk. Because um, yeah, even if I get 25 out of it, that's pretty amazing for a dollar investment. But you never know, there's always these odd and unusual things out there that you come across. And it's worth looking into. So, anyway, that's... Ba oh, I have one other thing. At one of the other garage sales, the lady had a whole... She was still putting stuff out. She had a whole box of these little tiny boxes ready for jewelry. And she used to deal in jewelry. So she had all these bo boxes. Her company name was Golden Coin Company. So she had these boxes custom made. And I... Uh, so I bought her one of her boxes. It's partially full, and she kept some of them. But I bought it for, I can't remember exactly how much I bought them for. But I love using these for shipping jewelry and coins or pin back buttons or any type of small item that'll fit in here. Because I just put them in here, drop them in a 6x9 envelope, padded envelope, and for, you know, first class, 4 ounce rate, they're well protected. And I've never had a problem doing that, so... So yeah, anyway, and now that I'm especially selling stuff on whatnot, I'm selling more of this smaller stuff, so I needed more of those. Because I was just finding them in the bins and whatever, and, which is fine, but you don't always find them. So it's good to have a little stock. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time.